Yo guys, how's it going? Let's talk about running Windows 10 from a USB. Now this is great for those of you who want the ultimate portability because it allows you to use your USB or Windows 10 on it, put it in one computer, do some work, and then take it out and boot it in our computer and continue working. In my testing, I had no problem with portability. Now you're probably not going to do any heavy gaming with this, just light web browsing and some simple word processing. And keep in mind, running Windows 10 from a USB is a very fallible idea due to the limited read-write speeds of a flash storage, so you're not going to want to do this for long term, especially if you value your USB. In any case, let's check it out. Alright guys, so to do this, you're going to need to have the Windows 10 ISO. If you don't have the Windows 10 ISO, you can use Microsoft's media creation tool, go to the option to create installation from another PC, Choose your Windows version and download the ISO file. It's really easy to do. Now, we're going to use an awesome program called Win to USB, which allows us to install Windows right to the USB. I'm using a 30 gig USB 3 drive. Just make sure that you're using USB with at least 16 gigabytes of free space. Choose your USB and it's going to format it. And now make sure you select the same partition for the boot and a system partition. And we're going to keep the installation mode to VHD. Finally, it's going to install Windows to the USB, give it at least 20 minutes to do so. Now on your BIOS, make sure you boot from the USB. It should bring up the standard Windows 10 installation screen. It will begin with detecting devices, that will take about another 15 minutes. So pretty much from this point, you have the standard Windows 10 startup. So here we are inside Windows 10 running from the USB. As far as performance, it's doable. There is some lag and you know, it's not the most idea thing, but yes, this is very possible to do light web browsing with, word processing and some light gaming. It's just that the read and write speeds really suffer and your system pretty much becomes unresponsive, especially if you're installing updates or doing anything else that involves drive activity within the background. So guys, this has been how to run Windows 10 from USB. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And as always, Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.